I mean, you normally know like my introduction. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah, I like that. Coming from the South Park Queen, you know. Yeah, yeah, all that, all that. All that, yeah. all that is guacamole. But we're here now at your event. How you feel that it's almost, you know, it's happening. We good, we live. I like it. I mean, it's, it's always good, always good energy. We vibing the artists doing their thing, so it's dope for that. And then the support for the underground artists, not too many people support. So the fact that they're coming out to support is always a great thing. It really is. It's a night of support, man. We had so many dope artists so far. Any favorite performances? Or are you performing? Nah, I like I like the whole thing. I mean, to me, they all my favorite because they all part of my event. Yeah. And then and, and it take it goes from my event to our event, so they all my favorite. Fuck it. If I'm performing, I don't know. Right now, I'm running around. We never know. I might pop in. I might pop out. You never know. <laughs> Sorry. What you got going on with your music right now? Right now, I'm working on the next color code. So that'll be out real soon. In between now, I'm doing something on the Tuesdays, the Titan Tuesdays, just dropping some, some free verses just so people know that I'm actually doing more recording in the new studio that we got, so you know. It's a pretty studio though, I'm yeah. just saying. Tell yeah. them about those recording rates, you know, get people to come. Oh well, no, the recording rates is at R-O-C-K-V-I-E-W-E-N-T on any social media, you DM and we'll give it info. And if you don't, then well, fuck you, but um, anyway. I'm not saying all that, but you know. I'm kidding. You're no, dumb though not. if you don't. But, um, tell them any, anything you're looking forward to the rest of the night now? No, I mean, I'm looking for something to drink and um, something to eat. And then the after party at Social Butterfly. Oh, oh, you heard it here. After party at Social Butterfly. Yeah. Um, where are they going to find you now? Right now, Brooklyn Colony, a.k.a. Colony 274. You better hurry up and get there. By the time you see this, it's over. So, follow me at Titan Rap at T-I-T-A-N-O-F-R-A-P. Follow me there, or just follow Rock Entertainment. You catch me with that. I was like showing it. Yeah, that's Monday Night Raw, a little different. Thank you for having us here tonight. Thank you for having what me. up, everyone? It is a rock media kick over here. I got my brother and on. Uh, this pony, right? Right, you're on his thing. So yeah, yeah. Building. How are you tonight, Judy? I'm feeling good and looking good. What are you sipping on, boo? Sipping on that donk, you know, Henny, that yak. Oh, <laughs> you just performed. How do you feel? I feel great, man. I'm, I feel good. The energy was great. The music was great. The crowd was good. I can't complain, man. I'm loving the energy in the building right now. Shout out to whole Rob UENT, man. Gang, 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 gang. We just chilling right now. Yeah, man. I got the fan with me. It's you, all good. It's a fan right here. You also the host That's of good. the event, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm hosting, splash, rapping, I'm doing all that shit. You know, we got the, the sweatshirts, the hoodies, Monday Night Raw in the building. It's crazy in here, man. Tell them about your brand and where they can find you. You can find me online, The Real Just Right. The Real, J-U-S-W-R-I-T-E. My clothing line, it's only right brand. It's only W-R-I-T-E, B-R-A-N-D. Instagram, Facebook. Catch me live every Saturday, 4 to 6, right on History Podcast. I and mean, we, we, we doing it, man. I can't complain, man. We out here, man. Shout out to Monday Night Raw, man. You already know. You already, man. All right. KDK here. Uh, welcome to the Raw Zone. We are here once again. New York Music Festival, courtesy of Rock View Entertainment, Rock View Media. I'm here with the one, the only, Shining Culture, everyone. Yo, 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 yo. How are you? Chilling, how are you? I'm good. It's the first that time was... meeting you. I feel so humbled right now. I mean, I'm humble too. I try to stay humble. So we're both first time I'm meeting you too. So, oh my God, like it's a different moment right now. Like hugs, hearts, and everything. I mean, I'm hoping that I don't mess up right now. I hope I don't mess up either, man. Cause I want to be like you when I grow up. I want to be like you when I grow up. Can we just you. become best friends? I went. I, I like this. Oh my God. So, so what's happening? We're just here. How do you feel about the accent they're not so far? About what? The accent have come on so far. I think it's great, man. I love to support any new artist that's really doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? So uh, there's a lot of dope artists here. One thing I will say that I don't like all the time is when artists uh, rap over their vocals, right? So yeah. you have a produced song. Um, you go in the studio, you do your best, you get the best vocals, you do all the best editing, and you make it all super duper perfect. Yeah. And then you come to a stage, and then you play that perfect song, but we came to see you live. Yeah. 
So to me, it's kind of like cheating. So when I see artists do that, I don't always like that. You know what I'm saying? But I've seen some artists really come up here with their instrumental, just to track, get on that microphone and really get busy. So I'm happy about that. And it, it makes me feel good that there's real artists out here getting busy. Let me ask you a question. Do you, think, do you think that because maybe Judas and his speaker system, that's why they send the track, they send it to the DJ? I mean, the, the excuses don't matter to me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because yeah, we're coming here to see what you can actually do. Yeah. You know, whatever you record in the studio, send to me in an email. You know, I want to listen to that when I'm in my car or when you're not in front of me. So if the studio speakers, if the, the, the speakers aren't that great or whatever it is, you know, as an artist, you're going to have to figure out how to improvise. Yeah. You know, how to really control the mic so that it's not too distorted. How to do, I mean, the reality is this. If the speakers in the place aren't that great, playing your produce track isn't going to be that great either. So you may as well be as live as you can so that at least you have some control over the song and the performance. Yeah. Because if the sound system isn't that great, and you play your produced song and you're relying on that, now you're stuck. Whereas if you have some live presence to your stage performance, you can at least improv in the moment and figure out how to make this even better. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's my take on it. I mean, I, I agree with what you're saying because if I, I already have a song on my iPod most likely, so why do I want to be the same song on the iPod if I want to see you perform? Yeah. I mean, imagine any of the great artists that you really love. If you listen to Mariah Carey, all day for her voice and you listen to her at home and then you pay because you like I want to see her live and then you go and see her live and she's basically and playing a song that you listen oh, to at home like all she, the time like you did for the holiday like she did with New Year's yeah which is why she got crafted you understand yeah. what I'm saying of course or anybody else Bruno Mars Kendrick Lamar J. Cole anybody you can think of Rihanna you listen to their songs you want to see them live and you go there and they're just like lip syncing over what you listen to at home and not giving you their own you would feel like a little cheater so the artists have to think of themselves if they want to be big superstars on those levels they have to start practicing now to be live performers and not rely on their tracks and the perfect vocals to do the work for them you understand what I'm saying? Man, and that's what you just heard from here the jewels were dropped by Shawnee Culture everyone that's right is there anyone you're looking forward to seeing perform tonight? I want to see everybody I want to see everybody I'm here to see everybody I'll come to these showcases so that I can see the new talent. I can see who exactly is um, just on the rise and see who has passion. Yeah. See uh, what's in their heart and see what's really, really popping. So, and I'm here to support the underground showcases. This is the new New York. You know, I love the organizers and promoters. Yeah. You know, uh, Respect the Grind, uh, Scott Morris, DJ Melody. You know, I've been involved in it for the past two years. Yeah. I was involved in it last year and this year. So, to me, it's, it's, uh, it's just dope. And it's called the new New York. So, I want to see New York at its finest. So, you know, Monday Night Raw and Rocky are doing an event on December 13th. out there, if y'all listen to the morning show, Hot 97, y'all can catch me in the cut, because I stay on the low, you know what I'm saying, my name is Shiny Culture, or you can follow the Mix Up Mix Up, that's my show where I travel the world, and let people see the world through my eyes, you know what I'm saying, yeah, perfect. You can follow me, that's all, Shiny Culture, S-H-A-N-I, Culture with a K, K-U-L-T-U-R-E, or you can follow the Mix Up Mix Up, Ooh. at Mix Up Mix Up, real simple. Um, or culture movies, fellow with a king. You'll find me. I look forward to this.